New information tonight after a Middleton woman shot and killed her two children and injured their father before turning the gun on herself on Sunday night. We now know the identities of those two children. They are eight-year-old Maya Lacey Robinson and five-year-old Major Lacey Robinson. Our Braden Ross joins us live from Lakeview Park where a vigil is scheduled for tomorrow night to honor those two children. Braden. Yeah, that's right. In just about 24 hours, the Middleton community will gather here to honor those two children killed. Now, I spoke with Domestic Abuse Intervention Services today about what they what message they want to get out to the community in the wake of this tragedy. Here's what they had to say. But there is absolutely no shame in reaching out. It's a message Day's executive director, Shannon Berry, wants to be heard loud and clear. So anytime we hear of a tragedy such as this um, that's so high profile, um, I often think about the many uh, victims and survivors who are still living within our community, um, who are dealing with violence in their relationships. One in three women and one in four men will experience domestic violence at some point in their lives. Domestic violence, unfortunately, um, escalates when victims and survivors are isolated. And so maintaining those connections with people that you're concerned about and ensuring that they know that if they do come to you, that they will be believed and that you will support their decisions, I think is, you know, the two of the most basic principles um, that I would stress to anybody who's concerned about a friend or family member. Wisconsin ranks number seven in the nation for domestic violence homicides. From 2021 to 2022, the number of domestic violence related homicides rose by 20%. But while it's rare to see domestic violence perpetrated by women, Barry says it's not unheard of. Domestic violence is an issue that really knows no boundaries. Statistically, uh, it's about between 10 to 20% of homicides are committed by women. But Barry says services like those provided by DAYS can make a big impact in preventing that violence. When people connect with those kinds of services, they are 60% less likely to experience a severe form of a severe assault. Right now, victim services across the country are preparing for a drastic drop in the federal funding they rely on to stay open. In Wisconsin, that drop is 70%. We do know that what we offer works. Um, and so, you know, really stressing the need for those additional dollars. Now again, back here in Middleton, that vigil is scheduled for tomorrow night at 6.30 here at Lakeview Park. Now there's also a GoFundMe set up to help support those uh, funeral serve expenses for the family. You can find out how to donate online at channel3000.com. For now, reporting live in Middleton, Braden Ross, News 3 Now. Braden, thank you. If you or someone you know is experiencing domestic violence, there is help available. You can call the Days Helpline at 608-251-4445 or text them at 608-420-4638.